Hey guys, it's me, Monkey Checking here, helping all your green goblins out there. Still need to find an intro for this one. Or like, uh, what to shake, 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 like what to say when I first come in instead of um, helping all your green goblins out there. Because this is really my tips channel. This is more just my video log. Telling you about all the green goblins out there? I don't know. Anyways, guys. Yeah, how y'all doing? Um, I actually really want to say I'm sorry for, I think I didn't upload on Friday and Saturday, but I was extremely busy. I've been busy for like the past... Three days have been extremely busy for me because I'm going back to school because I was recently off for spring break for two weeks. So during those two weeks, I was actually able to sleep, actually sleep. Like you guys don't even know. I get like four, three hours of sleep like every day because I do YouTube. Well, you guys probably know I do YouTube. More than likely, you probably know. Um, and i just been doing all kinds of work. So pretty much this is how it was when I go to school is I get home about 2 o'clock, 2, 3, 2, 2 30, and then from there, I work, you know, clean up the house, do all my stuff that I need to do, call, phone calls, a whole bunch of stuff, message people, answer your questions, all that kind of stuff. And then about five to six or so to seven, I get footage or whatever I'm going to do. Like that's my time to either get footage, research or anything like that. Just almost get footage. Like if that day I'm planning to do a lot of Call of Duty tips or whatever, or I have some tips in mind, that is between five and six or like uh, actually between five and seven I don't know why I said six but I meant like the hours like five o'clock and six o'clock you know what I'm saying like the whole hour um, that's when I get my footage on those days but if I'm like doing a let's play or something although thank goodness I was able to finish the let's play before spring break ended that would be the time when I was actually be recording the let's play so those are like my footage hours and then from seven to however long it takes me is when I edit my videos record my videos research my topics, get all my information, whether it's be pictures or facts or links or sites or anything. And then I finally go to sleep anywhere between 12 to 1.30. And then I wake up at 5, and then from 5 to 6, I've already uploaded my videos while I slept. And then between that time is when I tag my videos, title them, description them. I make my thumbnails. I do all my stuff. Like, that's when I do all my stuff is between 5 and 6 in the morning. And then between 6 and and 6.50 is when I eat breakfast, take a shower, get dressed, and make sure I have everything that I need before I go to school. And then at 6.50, I leave. I leave for school. So it's just always like, just always on, always working, always doing stuff no matter what. And this spring break was finally a time for me to actually get some actual hours of sleep, which is wonderful. Felt great for the times that I did. Like sometimes I was really busy and I didn't have much time to sleep because I had to get up and go do some stuff. But I was actually able to sleep for a few days out of the two weeks, which is really nice. I really enjoyed that. I don't know if you heard that ping I just finished rendering on a video apparently. Yeah. So that's what I've been doing. So now I'm going to have to go back to that system because I had to work for the past three days to really get stuff in order so that I can be like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. Because pretty much what I started doing was actually making my videos that day. Because beforehand, I would make my videos the day before so that I don't, well, because I can't make them while I'm at school. But during spring break, I was able to relax and not chug away, you know, at the last few hours that I'm awake trying to make videos. So I was actually making them day of and then rendering and uploading right then and there, which was pretty nice. <laughs> it was actually really nice, a lot more comfortable. Easy on the sleep schedule. But now I'm going to have to go back to that. So that's what I've been really doing. That's what I'm doing right now. I already have my two videos for tomorrow for my Let's Play of Bioshock. And then there's only two more videos. And then it's the... Uh, or those are the last two videos. After these two videos for today, when you guys are probably watching this, I have two more videos, and then that's the end of the game. And then from there, I'm thinking I'm going to start recording some Minecraft, because I think I have a system out to where I can record some Minecraft now. I don't know what it is, but DX Tori just has a problem with my computer. I've reached out to them and said, hey, I don't know what it is, but when I record with you guys, like, the audio keeps going, but the video stops, and you have, like, problems picking up my microphone or something. Like, in the sense that, like, if I'm mining, like, a, let's say it's like a 10 minute long video or 15, whatever long I'm going to be recording, about at 1 minute and 30 seconds, just a random number that I picked off my top of my head, I would be mining something and then I would be like, so yeah, guys, I just need to be trying to find some diamonds. And then from there, I'm just going to be looking around. Let's go, let's actually go back home and mine some sheep, like pretend like my face is moving by extra character. And then from there, it would just be freezing here. Like I said, I'm going to still mining that thing just over and over again. And then for like the rest of the nine minutes, I'm just like this, but the audio and everything is kept on going. It's like the video is just like an instant loop between like 
um, 130 and 131. Like, that's where it's in the loop. It just go, keeps on going back and forth between that second. I'm like, I can't record Minecraft now because of this. But I think I found a loophole through another program so that I can. So I think I'm going to be recording Minecraft and uploading it in between my Let's Plays. But, yeah. So it's going to be, like, I think like a month or so before I can get another game, which is going to be... Dead Island's Riptide. That's going to be my next Let's Play. And then, like, two weeks later, it's going to be um, The Last of Us. So those are probably going to be airing back-to-back. -back. I'm not too sure which one's going to be longer. I know Dead Island's, it didn't last necessarily long. What it was is that I was using a lot of characters for me. Like, I played that game for, like, two months. It was insanely awesome. Love the game. Uh, the Last of Us, I'm not too sure how that's going to be going. I need to do a little more research to plan, like, how I'm going to be doing the Let's Play, whether or not I'm going to be doing, like, hour-long videos a day. Actually, let me go know in the comment section of this video whether you liked the way I was doing Bioshock, which was, instead of an hour-long video, split it up between 30-minute videos twice a day. Because I figured that would be more easier. Let me actually get a drink of water. I'm freaking tired. My voice has been recording and freaking talking to people. Mm. Oh, freaking day. Needed some water. Ah. <sighs> Take a breath. <laughs> So let me know if you guys actually like that style, because if the game's going to be long, I would like to know whether or not I should break it up like that, or whether you guys would rather see the whole hour. But, yeah. <clears throat> I apologize. Voice is still, like, weird. So, where was I? Oh, yes, yes. Um, That's the, the plans with my games and everything. So now I'm going to be going back to school, getting all my videos straightened up. Past couple days have been pretty much, like, family or business stuff getting done. I actually just finished... Oh, let me ask you... Oh, no, 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 I won't. I actually just finished out my shopping, what I want to do. The next purchase I'm going to make, besides actually finishing off my computer and getting the next two games coming out, I think I'm actually going to get me a really nice mic setup. I'm looking at the Blue Yeti and then getting me a, like, a desk arm, which will actually be, like, new. Let me actually show you for an example. Like, the can is my, my microphone. I'll be able to pick it up, like, right here and talk to you guys when I am and move it out of the way whenever I'm not, like, just that easily. Just move it out of the way. This way, I because right now the way my microphone is situated, as you can see it in here, it's in the way of a couple things. And then sometimes when I'm trying to look at something completely, I'll leave that there trying to go, oh, that probably messed up with stuff. I apologize. I did not think of that. I'm not too sure whether or not you guys heard that. But I have to move it whenever I'm doing stuff. I mean, it's kind of like annoying because it's taking up space. But if I get it this way, I can just be like, huh, push it out of the way, bring it here, do anything that I need to do. You know what I mean? So that's my plan with that. And then I'm planning to get a pop filter to hook up with it. And then there's actually a few products I'm planning to get. I'm planning to get the mic, a shock mount, this way the sound quality will sound a lot better, um, a desk arm, a desk boom arm, and then a pop filter. And those I'm all planning to get, and that's going to run me like a total of almost like 300 bucks, and it's going to take me two months to save up the money in order to get all the items. But that's my plan. And then from there, I think my next step is going to be getting me a few little other accessories just um, like a USB splitter, like that thing I know I've said for a while that I needed, but I've learned that it's more of a want than a need. It's if I get higher end equipment is when I'll need it. So that thing was like the stepping stone, but I think this stuff will be better for me because then it will improve my audio quality. It'll improve the way I sound and everything. I think everything will sound a lot more crisp and on some of my live streams and everything else that I do, I should sound better, which is my plan. And I think as a commentator, since what I am, it's not like I just get gameplay and then upload it to you guys i actually talk over it it's a good idea for me to have chris sounding gameplay or uh, i apologize audio so then i think my next see this is my problem i don't know what the next gen systems is going to be i don't want to make purchases for recording gameplay or capturing gameplay or anything like that without knowing what is going to be on the next gen systems because if you guys don't know on ps3 there's a hdmi copyright where if I were to get an HDMI cable put into my PS3 and then a capture card put HDMI into that, if I were to try to render it out or record it, it would actually come across like, mm, you can't record this. No, 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 no. You get what I'm saying? It won't allow me to do it, which is why I have to use composite cables and stuff. If you guys record on PS3s, that's why you have to use comp component or composite cables in order to do so. That, that's why. It's because uh, PS3 has a HDMI output copyright. So I'm not too sure whether they're going to do that on PS4, whether or not there's going to be different cables with PS4, whether or not they're going to be um, component cable compatible, what's going to be the deal, whether there's going to be this kind of audio output, this or that. So I was looking at an Elgato and a Hopog, what is it? Uh, Hopog Gaming Edition 2. I was looking at those two capture devices, but then I thought, oh wait, 
next gen systems are coming just around the corner i don't want to spend you know 200 bucks or so on something that i may just be throwing away in just a short amount of time so i was like ah it, it would improve you know my recording but for six months i don't know because then if i have to just spend you know like four hundred dollars let's say on another capture card that's going to be coming out with the system I'm like ah that's probably not going to be worth it you know what i'm saying so i've been debating on what i should get knowing that the next gen system is coming out and if i am planning to get a tv and i'll tell you this i'm if i am planning to get a tv i'm going to get a computer monitor i'm going to get all three of my computer monitors i'm going to get i mean um uh, because i already have two if i'm planning to get another tv i'm going to get me a computer monitor and then from there i'm also going to get a desk with the computer monitor and then remount stuff because what i have now is just like a small stock table i'm fairly sure that i showed it within my last recording i'm fairly sure or Maybe not. I forget when I did my last setup video, but I have this little cheap table, really cheap. I probably it's probably like twenty bucks. I got it from our shed that we throw all our stuff in that we don't need. So I'm using this right now, and right now it'd probably be able to hold my other computer monitor if I would put it right there. But that computer monitor is really expensive because it came with my um my computer, which all in all cost me about fourteen hundred or something like that. So I'm very careful with that computer monitor. But if I was planning to get one for, or if I'm planning to get another TV for my games, I'm gonna get me a computer monitor. Because if you guys don't know, playing on smaller monitors, especially computer monitors, gaming computer monitors, they're extremely responsive. Because it takes time for your response to go into the game and then to get sent out to the TV and then the TV to process it on a smaller screen with better stuff in it. I don't know the exact science of it. The the response is a lot faster. So when you churn, when you churn, it churns. You get know what I'm saying? You guys probably don't notice it now because you've been adapted to it. But if you ever change settings on a TV or get a new TV, you might feel a little bit different. And that's why. It's because there's a different process time for your TV. So, yeah, guys. Just because you're getting like a 70-inch TV doesn't make your gaming experience better. It actually might make it worse. Just a little heads up for you guys. So if I am planning to get a computer monitor or replace my TV, I'm going to get me a desk too. That's what I've kind of thought for a while now like I've already have basically everything that I need to make videos and everything the rest of it is just an improvement upon what I have it'll just make everything better not necessities it'll just improve stuff so I knew that if I were going to get a microphone it would become a lot more sensitive and I want a shock mount and the shock mounts don't usually mount to desk so I want a boom arm and if I'm going to get me a boom arm I'm going to get me a really nice boom arm and then if I'm going to get me a boom arm this pop filter that I home homemade made homemade made homemade this homemade pop filter will not work for it so i'll have to give me a pop filter so i kind of in my head already figured okay next i'm gonna have to save up for these packets of stuff that i'm gonna be getting so my next packet is gonna be a microphone i'm not gonna give me the tv and desk until i know what the next systems are because i don't want to give me a computer monitor the hdmi output if i can't use it i don't want to get me one that's i don't know really all the visual outputs but basically i'm trying to get me a really nice stuff but i'm planning to wait for the next gen systems to get me anything video video stuff that's that's what i'm going with anything for like computers or equipment i can get now but anything for video i'm going to hold off until the next gen system comes out and then from there once you know the closer we get to the release date the more information will send out so i'm going to go okay this is the whole entire thing in a nutshell here's all the information i'll go oh okay that's what that is okay uh then i'll shop plan stuff out and go like there we go it's all apologize for the hiccup i was like okay that's all i need that's all good but i think after this after i buy this microphone and uh you know the boom on the whole pack that i told you earlier i think my next plan is to save my money for a bit and see what comes up that's that's my plan for a bit is to save up my money because i'm not i'm fairly sure that the next gen systems are like 400 bucks i'm not too sure which one's coming out which one's coming first and da, 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 da. so i think i'm just gonna save up my money and put it all on the side and see if like there's another game coming out or there's a new program or i need to update this or do that i want to have a little nest egg on the side this morning, like okay here's what this is instead of just spending it all at once but yeah guys we kind of reached in this video i hope you guys enjoyed it once again if you have any questions for me anything about all anything about anything at all whether i like bioshock where i'm excited for um, <laughs> I just had a dead on riptide, whether or what microphone I'm using. I'm actually planning to do something about that, my whole specs and everything later on when I get my new setup. But anyways, guys, for you seeing this video, like I just said earlier, any questions at all for me, ask them in the comment section below. I'll answer them. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm Monkey Jay. So literally, guys, peace.